It was back the last October, I believe it was, that we was going to hold a tent service off at this college town. And we got down there about dinner time on a Saturday. And the different ones of us thought that we ought to get us a mouthful to eat before that we was to set up a tent. And so we kind of like to clamber down off of this here truck and follow this little bunch of people through this small little bitty patch of woods there. And we come up on a big sign that says, get something to eat chicken. And uh, I went up and I got me two hot dogs and a big orange drink. And before I could take every a mouthful of that food, this whole raft of people come up around me, and they got me to where I couldn't eat nothing up like, and I dropped my big orange drink. <laughs> oh, I did. Well, friend, they commenced to move, and there weren't so much I could do but move with them. And we commenced to go through all kinds of doors and gates, and I don't know what of and I kind of created back my leg just a hair, and I looked up there, and it says North Gate. And we kept on going through there, and pretty soon we came up on a young boy. He says, ticket, please. And I says, friend, I don't have a ticket, and I don't even know where it is that I'm a going. <laughs> oh, I did. Well, he says, come out as quick as you can. And I says, I'll do her. I'll turn around the first chance to get. I did. Well, we kept on a moving through that, and pretty soon everybody got to where it was that they was a going because they parted, and I could see pretty good. I could. <laughs> and what it was, yes, yes, and what it was I seen was a whole raft of people are sitting on these two banks and are looking at one another across this pretty little green cow patch. <laughs> well, they was. They was. And somebody had took and drawn white lines all over it, and they drove posties in it, and I don't know what all. And I looked down there, and I seen five or six convicts are running up and down a blowing whistle. <laughs> they were. Well, then I looked down there again, and I seen these pretty girls are wearing these little short dresses and are dancing around, and so I thought I'd sit down and see what it was that was going to happen. I did. And about the time that I got set down good, I looked down there and I seen 30 or 40 men kind of running out of one end of a great big outhouse down there. <laughs> oh, they did. And everybody where I was a sitting, they got up and hollered. And about that time, 30 or 40 come a running out of the other end of that outhouse. And the other bag full, they got up and hollered. <laughs> Well, then I turned and I asked this feller that was a-sitting beside me. I says, friend, what is it they is a-hollering for? Well, he walked me on the back and he says, buddy, have a drink. <laughs> and I says, well, I believe I will have another big orange. <laughs> well, I got it and I sat back down. When I got down there again, I seen that them men had got the two little bitty bunches down there, they had, real close together, and then they voted. <laughs> they did. Oh, they did. They voted and elected one man apiece, and them two men come out in the middle of that there cow pasture, and they shook hands like they hadn't seen one another in a long time. And then a convict come over to where they was standing, and he took out a quarter, and they commenced the odd man right there. <laughs> they did. Well, after a while, I seen what it was that they was the odd man at first. It was that both bunches full of them men wanted this funny-looking little pumpkin to play with. <laughs> they did. Oh, yes, they did. And I know, friend, that they couldn't edit it because they kicked it the whole evening, and it never busted. <laughs> But uh, anyhow, what it was I was telling was that both bunches full wanted that thing, and one bunch got it, and it made the other bunch just as mad as they could be. And friend, I seen that evening the awfulest fight that I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I did. Why, they would run at one another and kick another around and throw another one down and stop one another and grind. They're beating one another, and I don't know what all. And just as fast as one of them would get hurt, but they towed him off and run another and off. <laughs> oh, yes, they did. Well, you know, they done that as long as I sat there up and put
pretty soon this boy that had said, take it, please, he come up to him and he said, friend, you're going to have to leave because it is that you don't have a ticket. And I said, well, all right. Then I got up and I left. And I don't know, friends, to this day what it was that they was a-doing down there. But I've been a-studied about it, and I think that it's some kindly of a contest where they see which bunch full of them men can take that pumpkin and run from one end of that cow pasture to the other without either getting knocked down or stepping in something. 